Hey everyone, I'm back. Welcome back. I'm here to do another wig review for you. This is another one, another guest review, I should say, for Wig Studio One. So Wig Studio One did send me this wig to review for you guys today. And I'm really excited. This is such a cool color and I need to get the business side of this out of the way first. So Wig Studio One is an online retailer. The website is wigstudio1.com. You can purchase virtually all of the name brand wigs there. If you go there now, there is a coupon code that you can use for 30% off. It is beautiful you. That coupon code doesn't work on John Renault wigs, but they typically have a 30% off sale on John Renault wigs every weekend. So watch for that. And if you sign up for emails, you'll get a notification. They also have a Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Fantastic group. So if you're on Facebook, I highly recommend it. I'm in that group. It's the first group that I joined when I started I'm really I'm getting into the wig community with my hair loss. And so I highly recommend it. All right, let's talk about the wig. Jessica by John Renault in the color Shaded Berry, which is 131, okay, let me get this right, 131T4S4. I have never, ever, ever seen this color before. I have never seen a John Renault classic collection wig before either. So when this wig came to me, I knew Jessica was coming because I get a notification when they send me a wig to review. And so when I got the mail, the box was tiny and I thought, oh my gosh, I've never gotten a John Renault wig before that wasn't in a box because I just assumed there was no box inside the shipping box. Look at how tiny this box is. It's a teeny tiny little box. It's really tiny. Let me show you a comparison. There's a Noriko box. There's this box. Very, very small. Kind of, kind of interesting. So, because as you might have guessed, since this is a classic collection wig, that means it is a either a basic cap or machine made cap. I hear, I've seen it referred to as both ways. I tend to call wigs that don't have any cap features a basic cap. It may be more technically correct to call it machine made, but whatever, it doesn't have any uh, cap features. So I will be showing that to you, which means this price point is a little bit lower. As a matter of fact, I was gonna look up the price and I forgot to, and I don't wanna make you guys wait. So hold, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna look up the price, hold on. All right, I'm so glad I did that. This is this wig right now on the Wig Studio One website. Please look at the date of this video because if you're watching this way down the line, this might not be true anymore, but today it is $134.22. What a great price. Wow. All right, so before I do anything, let me do a spin so you can see this from all sides. It's so cute, you guys, these colors are so cute. If you're not familiar with my videos, I have to turn and look at the phone. I do it on a phone and the color changes when it can't see my face. I am considering getting a, a camera, but they're like 500 plus dollars and I don't have that kind of money right now to spend on a camera. So just bear with me on the coloring. I do hope to upgrade my video capabilities sometime soon. Isn't that cute? It's just so adorable. I wonder if I turn on the autofocus, if that'll help. You're not watching me because I'm a professional, I hope, because you're not getting that. Look at the curls. Those curls are adorable, oh my gosh. All right, so Jessica is, like I said, a basic cap wig and so cute. This color though, Shaded Berry, I have never heard of it or seen it before. It is spectacular, it's so pretty. I will get outside for you guys so you can see it in natural lighting because this is my bathroom light with a with a ring light. So it may, you know, I think, you know, these pull pretty true. When I look at I watch these videos back, I don't think the color gets terribly distorted for indoor lighting color, but it de definitely changes a lot when I go outside. So I think that's helpful. Let me talk to you guys about this color though. I have my laptop right here because I wanted to pull I wanted to look the color up because it can be so confusing when you have color codes with so many letters. I mean, we're looking at, okay, so 131, what the heck is 131? T 
for S4. You know, it's like, what does that mean? And certainly, you know, I can see it with my eye now, but if you're in the market for a wig and you're looking online, those swatches are really worthless. And so it can be really hard to tell. So let me tell you what I found. Um, I didn't find this color specifically, but I did find a color named Brandy by John Renault. And the color code for that one is 131.4, or I'm sorry, 131T4. So this is 131T4 S4. So just a little different. And the S4 means shaded and that's rooted. So I know by seeing the S4, it means this is a rooted color and it has a four root. A four is a dark brown. So we've got a dark brown root going on. And then it says on here, 131 is medium red with medium red tips. So that's what 131 means. Medium red, in the John Renault line, of course, it might not be the same everywhere. 131 is medium red with medium red tips. And that's what the T stands for. It means it's a tipped color, a high, the highlights are tipped. And so what we've got here is we've got, um, it seems to me we've got a base of a four, which is a dark brown. And then we've got the 131T, which is blended kind of in tipped with the medium red. And then we've got a root of four. So this is a really vibrant dark red, dark brunette red. So it's very much has highlights and it's got bold, bold red. That's the highlights with a medium uh, with a dark brown, okay? I am sure I just confused you more than anything, but it's really just a dynamic red with some dark brown in it. So if you're a brunette who really likes reds, this is a really beautiful color. If you don't like um, kind of bold colors, I mean, this doesn't look natural. It looks salon, and so you might um, be a little self-conscious about a color like this unless you're really comfortable in salon colors. I would wear this with no problem. I really, really love it. And I love how much red there is. It's so pretty. All right, so Jessica is a really layered curly hairstyle. So there's lots and lots of layers in here, tons and tons of layers all throughout this piece. And you can see just tons of layers. And then she's got these beautiful big curls, beautiful curls. I just think it's so cute. She's got a lot of layers in the front. She is, um, there, the bangs are just a tiny bit long for me to wear as a full bang. So if you like full bangs, you're gonna wanna trim them up a little bit so that they don't hang in your eyes unless you have a taller forehead than I've got. Uh, but she does sweep to the side really nice. So she still maintains some of those bangs, but she really does kind of sweep to the side really nice. This one came to me wanting to part more off center right. I am a left hand parter and you know most uh, wigs with mono parts come on a left hand part. This one kind of wanted to go to the right so I just left it doing that but because it's a basic cap you can mess around with this and you can get the style to go whatever direction you want. You can part it to the right, you can part it to the left, you can sweep it around, you can do it in the middle, you can kind of do whatever you want. And to be able to train it, oftentimes it just takes some spritzes of water. Something I wanna tell you guys, this is out of the box. I did nothing to Jessica. Uh, aside from the kind of I did this, I tried to see which way the part wanted to go. I didn't put any water in Jessica. I did not hang her. She came out of the box onto my head. I have not put any product in her. For those of you who watch my videos, I am a huge believer in giving you guys all the information. So I usually do an out of the box that I tack onto the end of my videos. There will not be an out of the box in this one because this is out of the box. I will never ever do a review of a wig that I have styled without telling you what I've done. I, I, my goal would be to never not, uh, never not be able to show you out of the box. Occasionally that happens that I haven't been able to get the out of the box film, but I will always tell you what I did. So let's look at the cap. I am really impressed with this one. Honestly, I really, really am. There is no mono features. Like you, like I said, this there is open ear tabs. So if you wear glasses, that could help. There is an extended nape. There are Velcro adjusters. Um, they're, in, they're cinched in just slightly on both sides and it's fitting me really well that way. 
and otherwise it's wefted. And she does have quite a bit of permatease on the top. One thing that I'm super impressed about though on this one is you really can't see the permatease a whole lot. Um, let's just talk briefly about basic cap wigs and the challenges with basic cap wigs. Without any mono features, you can typically see a little bit of the permatease because what happens is without any mono features, they have to attach the hair to the cap, right? So how do they hide it without any mono features? Well, permatease is usually what is used. And so while she has permatease, you really can't see it. I'm super impressed with that. That's pretty rare. You know, I have been starting to get more experience with basic cap wigs because I tend to get sent those for reviews. And so I like that about this one a lot. I usually have to talk through the permatease challenges in these basic cap wigs and how to disguise the permatease. And I don't really have to do that in this one. I'm really, really impressed. Uh, but there is permatease all up here, right here. This is nice and padded. There's quite a bit of permatease. I will tell you that um, I don't think it's overdone. I think it really fits this style because you've got a style here that is very layered, very curly, and so you need to lift the style to make the style. Otherwise, you're gonna have really flat on top and all these big, beautiful curls, and that's gonna be a real challenge. So I think the permatease is appropriate, and I really, um, I have no problem with it. But if you don't like permatease, keep in mind there's quite a bit of permatease. This is a good amount of hair. Um, it's definitely, uh, if you're brand new to wigs, unless you had super curly hair and a lot of it and you lost it relatively suddenly, this may be a little overwhelming to you. If you've been losing your hair for 20 years like I have and you've been living for the majority, maybe the last five years with hardly any hair and barely disguising it, as I have, then you, this may be a tough first wig for you. But if you've got a little bit of experience with wigs or you had a lot of hair, this one might be great. I mean, I think you can put some product in this one and really amp up these curls. It's just really adorable. So um, just keep in mind it's basic cap, so you can't take it off the head like this, your forehead. Although if you have some bio hair that you can blend in the front, you can pull it out and that would help. I don't. I definitely think you can put clips in her though. I think this is one of those because of how well they've um, sewn the hair onto the wefting and how well they've done the permatease. I don't think you need to worry about seeing the wefts at all. So I think you can just play around with her. Get some clips. Clip one side up, clip both sides up. You know, I really think that there are some styling options with this one. I like it. So I give it some thumbs up here. And I also wanted to let you know about that great price. Because if you are on more of a budget, you know, this is a good price. And then if you wait for the 30% off sale on the weekend, holy smokes, I think you'd get this one for under $100. That's incredible. So... Keep it in mind if you can do basic cap, as some of you can't do basic cap wigs yet or ever, and that's perfectly all right. This one's a basic cap. Uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Check out the outside look, which is coming up. Otherwise, thank you for watching and check out Wig Studio One, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey everyone. Okay, so I don't normally wear sunglasses in these, but it is way too bright out here for me. I can't, my eyes can't take it. So <laughs> sunglasses it is. Look at this shaded berry color. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I um, am struggling to get these outside looks because of the, the, the season. There's so much snow on the ground. When it's sunny, I'm having trouble finding shade. So I'm using a tree right now, two trees that don't have leaves on them, but I can't get like against the house like I normally do. So you've got a contrasting background because the sun is on the house everywhere, except for on the side and I can't get there because of the snow. All right, so hopefully this is a good look. I'm gonna go in the sun for you guys. This color is amazing, absolutely amazing. I am gonna stand kind of in front of my garage here. Can't really see though now because the sun is right straight in my eyes. So I'm praying I'm in the in the frame. Isn't that a pretty color? It's just beautiful. I'll be curious to see what this looks like 
in sunlight since I can't see it I'll have to watch the video back all right I'm gonna walk back into the shade and wrap up okay I'm in the shade again it's pretty isn't it all right guys thanks for watching I'll talk to you soon